Eddie and Archie. And Elliot. And Elliot. Of course, not forgetting Elliot. Yes. This is Grandma and Dad here, and we want to read you a story. We're going to read you a story. And the story is called A Quiet Night Inn by Jill Murphy. <gasps> Do you know that one? I don't know that one, Grandma. Is it good? It's a brilliant story. Oh, it's a brilliant story, boys. Brilliant. It's brilliant. And Dad's got a new camera. I'm not entirely sure what I'm doing. Still, we're gonna, Grandma's going to kick off the story. I want you all in bed early tonight, said Mrs Large. It's Daddy's birthday and we're going to have a quiet night in. Can we be there too? asked Laura. No, said Mrs Large. It wouldn't be quiet with you lot all charging about like a herd of elephants. But we are a herd of elephants, said Lester. Smarty pants, said Mrs Large. Come on now, goats on. It's time for school. And there they are, going to school. Can you see? Eddie, Archie, Elliot. There we go. That's going to read the next page. That evening, Mrs Large had the children bathed and in their pyjamas before they had even had their tea. I should have said bathed and her, before they even had their tea. They were all very cross. It's only half past four said Lester. It's not even dark yet. It soon will be, said Mrs. Large grimly, and there she is. And there's a very unhappy elephant being dried by Mrs. Large. Grandma, to read the next page. After tea, the children set about making place cards and decorations for the dinner table. Then they all tied it up. Then Mrs. Large tied it up again. And there they are, drawing, just like you do, Eddie and Archie. You draw at the table, don't you, and, and write things and make things. There they are. Mr Large arrived home, looking very, very tired. We're all going to bed, said Lester. So you can be quiet, said Laura. Without us, said Luke. Shh, said the baby. Happy birthday, said Mrs. Large. Come and see the table. Mr. Large sank heavily into the sofa. It's lovely, dear, he said. But do you think we could have our dinner on trays in front of the TV? I, I, I'm feeling a bit tired. And there, oh, I better show you the picture, didn't I? That's Mr. Large arriving home and asking to have his tea in front of the TV. Of course, said Mrs. Large, it's your birthday and you can have whatever you want. We'll help, said Luke. The children ran to the kitchen and brought two trays. I'll set them, said Mrs. Large. We don't want everything ending up on the floor. There they are with the trays. Let me see. Mr. Large opened the book and began to read. One day, Binky Bus drove out of the big garage. Hello, he called to his friend, Milky Milk Float. I don't like that one, said Laura. It's a boy's story. Look, said Mr. Large, if you're going to argue about it, you can all go straight to bed without any story. So they sat and listened while Mr. Large read to them. Can you see? There he is. Come on. After a while, he stopped. Go on, Daddy, said Luke. What happened after he bumped into Danny Duskart? Did they have a fight? asked Lester. Look, said Laura, look. Dad's asleep. Shh, said the baby. And there is Dad... Daddy Elephant fast asleep. Mrs. Large laughed. Poor Daddy, she said. Never mind. We'll let him snooze a bit longer while I take you all up to bed. Oh, will you just finish the story, Mum? asked Lester. We don't know what happens in the end, said Luke. Please, said Laura. Shh, 
said the baby. There's Mr. Large, fast asleep with his little children and family on the sofa. Oh, sticky page, Grandma. Move up then, said Mrs. Large, and she picked up the book and began to read. Watch where you're going, you silly dust cart, said Binky. Just then, Pip the police car came driving by. There they are, all on the settee. After a while, Mrs. Large stopped reading. What's that strange noise? asked Lester. It's Mummy snoring, said Luke. Daddy's snoring too. They must be very tired, said Laura kindly. Shh, said the baby. The children crept from the sofa and fetched a blanket. They covered Mr. and Mrs. Large and tucked them in. Isn't that nice? Grandma, tell us the rest of the story. We'd better put ourselves to bed, said Lester. Come on. Shall we take the food up with us? asked Luke. It is on trays. It's a pity to waste it, said Laura. I'm sure they wouldn't mind anyway. They wanted a quiet night in. Shh, said the baby. And that's the end of the story. Oh, we miss you so much. Oops, a daisy. <laughs> Let's get it right. <laughs> We miss you so much, Eddie Elliot and Archie. Really do. We'd love to be able to give you a big kutch. Yes. And give you lots of jelly on Super Jelly Monday, wouldn't yes. we, Grandma? Yes. And lollies. And play silly games. And plant eat. flowers. And make dens. And look for treasure in the garden. Yes. And Eddie and Archie... Your flowers, your lilies are that high at the moment. They're you can't so see. Big. They're up there. They're huge and soon there'll be little flowers popping up. But hopefully we'll see you really soon. And we'll be able to give you a nice big mwah. 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 One so for each of you. So lots of love from Grandma and Dad. Mwah. Bye bye. No star. Bye bye.